Look, I know it's been a while, but this, this is worth recording. So guys, we're getting into something that uh, I have not had a chance to mess with before, but I have a really exciting opportunity to do this for a guy named Alex, uh, and I know he was excited after seeing some of my work, uh, and he approached me saying that he'd like for me to do a piece for him and suggested this one. Uh, after sending him over some samples of my paint, uh, I didn't think I'd have too much of an issue with it. I was just excited to do a project that I've never done before. I've done resin conversions, I've done some minor resin kits, uh, but this is something that... I could not wait to get into. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up and check everything inside, make sure everything was okay from shipping. A uh, couple of small box dings, hopefully nothing too major. I don't think we're gonna have too many issues. Uh, from what I'd seen online, they packed the crap out of these things. I'm gonna go ahead and take the top off. A little protective foam layer, and right off the bat, a beautiful, beautiful rendering of what the uh, kit's gonna look like at the end. It looks like somebody's actual work, and we have Set of the water slides, some really nice chrome finished water slides. I hope these come out okay. I've seen a couple of issues with these, especially with the chrome uh, starting to tear apart. We have the manual book, which this is a beefy, beefy monster of a book. This is really nice. Uh, the, some of the instructions I've seen online, like just renderings of this, they haven't been killer instructions. It's mostly kind of get to you to the point, but I built a couple of Sananju, Master Grade and High Grade and things like that. Uh, so I think we'll get through it just fine. Also, there's some awesome tutorials online from other YouTubers. The first thing that we see is this gigantic sheet of transparent green. That is so beautiful. And it's neat to see that they've actually just kind of uh, molded the handles out on these so you don't have to worry about putting them on or taking them off. So once those are all cleaned up and painted, those will look really, really nice. You can see some of the flashing on there, which I'm kind of glad that they leave a little bit extra on there just so I can clean it up and make sure there's no like damage from injection or anything like that. Firstly, we have a set of Masterwork hands. Yeah, Masterwork. That's who that is. I haven't seen these before. I've seen like the, the large G-System hands, like you can buy specific G-System hands online. But I think because these come in separate pieces like that, they might be a little easier to clean up too. It looks like the injection is really just minor, minor injection. We have metal thrusters very very sassy this thing's got a lot of weight to it this whole kit has so much weight to it the only real concern that I have about finishing the kit up is actually mailing it back to him I think that uh, after getting everything packed back up I've got a couple of ideas of how I want to pack it because it has to be shipped from here uh, the northern end of Atlanta to California I think I'll be able to pack it pretty well with some ideas I've got but I will get to that later it looks like here we've got just some rubber tubing and some like metal spring tubes for like waist belts and stuff like that this metal tube which I don't really know what it's for. I bet it's actually for like lining up the fuel tank system. I bet that is for lining up the fuel tank system when you set them because it looks like there's only one metal tube but there's the fronts and looks like the bottom maybe base bell or top bell for the uh, thruster tanks. I bet that tube is just for lining everything up and gluing them properly which is really nice to have a template for it. Another few small pieces. Well, one thing you can really notice in these kits is they are labeled to space and back. It makes it really really easy. Most of like the uh, smaller stuff I've got from like GK or uh, side 3 resin conversion like their labels are pretty bad it's just kind of like if you built the kit with the conversions you know where the pieces go so to have these nice big printed labels on there is pretty nice here we've got the LED kit for the eye which is a really nice battery setup I wonder if I can buy these independently because I think they would be good for some of the smaller kits that I have I hope they're staying in focus yeah and some of the uh, pre-molded clear parts mono eyes and I'm guessing for like the front of the uh, bazooka uh, a couple of tiny screws there and a piece of looks like just polystyrene rod I guess that's just for lining something up or mounting the mono eyes or something like that. These are a few bolts. We can see a couple of bolt ends there. Uh, just like little rivets. And those look really nice. Those do. They, this is a really nice looking kit so far. Now we've got some of the resin pieces. And all of these, again, it just individually bagged so, so nicely. I might not chew through all of these resin pieces since a lot of them you won't be able to really tell what they are. But I can tell you on the molding for these. The molding is really nice. But what I'm surprised by is that the one that I'd seen done uh, was actually molded in red. Yeah, a couple of lower shoulder pieces here. That's the surprising thing because a lot of this... Like, look at just the bottom end of that panel for the rifle is massive. I can't wait to pop some of these open, but I'll get everything separated and make sure everything's uh, nice and clean and not broken. But 
but it looks like all the molding is so, so clean. I don't think we'll really have many broken pieces in here. Uh, if we do, it shouldn't be too much of an issue to repair it. Here's some black resin, and that is, I'm sure, for the backpack. Yeah, I'm sure that's for the backpack. So I don't really want to tear into too many of these, just because, like, you won't be able to see much definition from them or the individual pieces. Panel for the uh, heat hawks. These are really nice, really cool pieces. Oh, yeah, those are actually separated. You can see where the, the handle is going to slide back and forth on the heat hawk. Rockets for the rocket launcher. Yeah, upper part of the shoulder. Chest plate piece there. That's what I wanted to see. This is going to give you a real scale of how big this monster is. So this is the uh, lower leg plate for the Sananju, and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the Master Grade real quick so I can show you the leg compared to just this piece, because it is an insane difference. This is 172nd scale, and this is 1100 scale, so like this is a like a dead side by side of 1100 scale to the 172 scale, and that is just a nuts difference. This is going to be about the same size as my 160th unicorn, I'll bet. This is getting pretty close to that territory. Back flaps, everything in here is beautifully molded. It's going to be so nice to paint something that is so clean. Like from the other places that I've got it from, side three, the molding wasn't bad. The resin conversion kits you get from GK, they're just not as clean, not as crisp, as smooth as these pieces. So they'll be really nice to paint, really nice to prep. We got a lot of more. Of back pieces here yeah the inside of the thrusters for the backpack and I just can't get over how nice that molding in is how much nicer it'll be able to paint something like this in comparison to painting the small resin pieces that come with the GK kits and they're not molded as well I might pop a couple of pieces out here at the end to show you guys how nice the molding is on this some more black resin pieces I can put down that 1 100 scale Sananju leg now uh, some more black resin pieces a little bit harder to see in the bag small thruster bells yeah I'm recognizing a lot of the pieces lower leg plates bottom of the feet the shoulder armor they come to a really really nice point too. It'll clean up really nicely. There's the piece I want to get out real quick. Now I'm gonna tape this back up but this is just the upper breastplate for the Sananju and the lines are so crisp and so clean like you can get all the way down to just the tiniest tiniest points in there. It looks so beautiful. It'll be so nice to paint something this large and this clean. So I'm gonna put that back in the bag and get it all taped up so we don't lose any pieces. We have the upper pieces for the shoulder. Another piece of scale like this is just massive. Like I've got big hands. I wear extra large gloves and these are just massive pieces for the upper pieces for the jetpack. Some leg plates here, which the reverse wash might be a little more difficult on something like this. I think doing just a pre-shade gold and then a black fill on top will be nice, but we'll get into that later. I'll do some more tutorials using this kit. Now this is interesting. I've got some either black resin or rubber pieces actually inserted onto the inside of this. Uh, I'm curious to play with that just to see if it's actually rubber. I, I think it is rubber. It's actually a little soft. Like, it'll have some grip when you're using it to adjust the pieces. Uh, here, more lower leg plates, uh, more upper leg plates. Just the beef to this kit is so impressive. Here, we've got some pre-molded hands, and pre-molded hands are something I'm absolutely in love with. I think that the uh, regular manipulator hands that you can get for these kits just, it doesn't stand up. You can't get the hands to hold the way you'd like or hold a fixed position without looking a little doofy, and having the professionals make these hands for you. Um, see if I can get this, this one over to the side of the bag. Like, that is a beautifully made hand. Like it looks just so nice reaching out grasping. Here we have the wristbands which is really nice that these are a separate piece because the reverse wash on this is going to be so easy and it looks so crisp. Just the real beef of this kit so impressive. Now all the resins out of the way. Oh I was wrong. There's a big ass shield and that is just so beautiful. I cannot wait to tape off and paint this monster. How beautiful is that? This one. I'm gonna open this. So as an example of how well made this kit is, how beautiful these pieces are, how clean they are, there just looks like such little repair I have to do for this one. Just this one piece individually. I'm sure there'll be a couple of pieces that'll need some cleanup. Like I know the edges will have to be straightened here. Uh, and the injection mold, just for this part alone, like it's just one, one, one bit. It's just one beefy chunk at the end. It'll be so easy to clean that off. It's just a beautiful piece. It really is so amazing to think that how much engineering went into making this one gigantic Sinanji. All right, I'm gonna set that off at the side because I think I know what this is. Just got some more resin pieces here, shoulder pieces, backpack pieces, some more of those rubber inserts. So I'm guessing that's just for the center to be able to plug your backpack thruster packs into. Here, upper backpack pieces, just the heft. The panel lines look really nice. Gonna need a lot of panel line cleanup. There's some crisp lines in there, but there's a little bit of trash in them that could use to be cleaned out before I put in any washes or anything. Lower shoulder plate where your spikes go on. Uh, looks like top of feet, no, edge of shoulders. Yeah, edge of shoulders. Now the inner piece for the uh, shield, that is so impressive because I thought that there would just be a couple of smaller inserts that go in there, but it is a whole insert that fits right in there in that shield. 
very, very nice. Now we have our rifle, and this is the kind of thing you run into with resin. That is way crooked. You can see how far off that is from just the edge line. I'm gonna have to straighten that out. That's gonna take a little bit of time. You know, with the molding itself, the molding looks really, really nice. I'll just put that in some pooled water, but we might do a uh, tutorial on straightening resin pieces too. Uh, upper feet plate, uh, lower looks like where the thrusters are gonna attach on the inside of the uh, leg armor. Inside of the backpack pieces and top of the chest plate. Man, th this is gonna be so nice to paint. I'm really excited about that. That is the bottom of the box. So now, what we've got here is going to be uh, something I'm pretty excited about. Something the owner of this kit is also pretty excited about. This is the inner frame for that. And you can see what a monster this is. Like, it's just so, so massive. Oh, there's some ratcheting effect in there. Well, don't want to get too far into it. But, man, that is just, it's so big. What a beautiful monster of a kit. Those are real pistoning aluminum shocks right there. This is really beautiful. It's got, it doesn't have a whole lot of strength to it, to be fair. Like, it doesn't really want to stay in one particular position. It just, uh, it's a little soft, you know? The legs are uh, on a ball joint, but it feels like a plastic on plastic ball joint. There's no rubber in there. So maybe with some armor and a little bit of tightening up, you know, being able to separate these pieces, this is just... Huge. Just a tremendous kid. Really, really excited about this. So, Alex, I hope you're as excited as I am to get into this one. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of painting tutorials, maybe some builds throughout, and really, really looking forward to this kit. Thank you guys. If you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. I will also post this up on Reddit, so if you guys see it, be sure to reach out, uh, and I will see you guys for the next one.